an Italian sculptor just sold an invisible statue that doesn't actually exist for more than $18,000. Instead, the lucky recipient will get a certificate of authentication that is both signed and stamped by the artist. Greg, I think this is brilliant. I should have gotten my wife like a, a, an invisible diamond ring and, yeah. and just said, you know what, it's very by expensive. The, by the way, just so you know, because I talked to the sculptor, <laughs> I actually brought it here. I actually have it. Whoosh! It's all. Oh, oh my God! It it's broke all. It. all at eight, you don't have eighteen thousand. I don't, but I got insurance. Oh, so thank goodness! It's not, it's, I just broke the damn thing. Yeah, you insure it for more than it's, it's a worth. Mess. <laughs> Sandra, you're, are you buying this? <laughs> No, no. I mean, they're describing this as a vacuum, nothing more than space full of energy. How does her energy from a blank space? I don't know, $18,000, you get a certificate and you bring it home? Mm -hmm. Still don't get it. When you did a hit for Special Report, were you standing behind that invisible sculpture? <laughs> or was that a Mal painting? <laughs> they should drug test people who bought this, thing, who buy these kind of things. And, I, and when you buy your wife that second ring, I'd like you to pick me up one too. That <laughs> okay, I'll ring. get you one. On the house, Harold. What about you, Dagan? I majored in art history, so if I worked on another network like CNN, I would say that it's brilliant. But I work here, and mm. it's cut up. All right. But I would like a GIF of Greg doing that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll have Johnny fire that up. And finally, flying's already bad enough. This new seating design is sure to make things worse. This concept aims to turn the airplane cabin into something like a double-decker bus, squeezing in as many passengers as possible. I don't know. Dagan, do you think this is actually more efficient? I don't care if it is. <laughs> I am not sitting with my face underneath somebody's backside ever. Harold, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Harold, are you, are, you, are you paying for the top shelf or are you going bottom? I go with what I said before. Whomever, the Nobel Prize as well. This is crazier than the other thing. <laughs> I don't know. The airlines always find a way to make some money. If anybody hears from the Chicago area, you know that you've got the double-decker um, trains there. And the, people are used to People are willing to do this. I think, like, you've got the Spirit Airlines, the Southwest Airlines. <laughs> they would figure it out, and they would sell every seat. Greg? I, I told you about my, my innovation, right? It's called door-to-door -door snore. Did we talk about this? No. This is where they come to your house, right? And they put you under. And the next moment you wake up in your hotel destination. I like that idea. Yeah, so it's your unconscious the whole time. They can literally stack you like... Uh, things in a plane. I had a morbid thought there. Uh, they could stack you like loaves of bread and they could pack you. You stole that from the 18. No, I didn't. Didn't they used they, to drug the guy that was afraid did. of flying and then he'd wake up and he, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what, make, make that seeped into my brain. I get all my ideas from the 18. <laughs> that explains Gutfeld explanation. You need to combine the last story and this story. Invisible people you sit next to. Invisible people. All right.